This is a little slideshow of an early spring walk on a blustery March morning. I was specifically looking for patterns and stripes to inspire my Crazy Island Family March Week 3 Nature Stripes and Patterns Art Journal page. Well, the first thing to catch my attention were these landscape rocks. Look, there are red ones and dark gray ones and all sorts of shapes and patterns in there. And there's this big old huge evergreen tree that grows right outside my window. That caught my attention. And this little bush that does not have its leaves yet show all sorts of stripes and patterns. And here's the root of one that's growing up against the landscape rocks. Interesting picture. And I just had to get a picture of this little birdhouse and how interesting that tree bark is. Look at the colors in there. And on that same tree, there are roots that are growing out of the ground and there's some dry grasses. And here are some weeds that are left over from last year that still have their flower heads. And of course, there are dry grasses and leaves and old branches that form stripes. And here are those dried weeds and flowers left over from last year. I like this picture a lot. And another picture that I like is this one of the gray-blue water of the pond and the yellow ochre of the weeds. Good picture there. And here's another view of it. I like those weeds. They just I love the colors on this picture. And when you aim your camera up into a tree that does not have its summer leaves yet, you see all sorts of shapes and patterns formed by the tangle of the branches. And when you aim it down toward the ground, here are some dried weed stems. And here's another picture of some trees that don't have their leaves yet. Well, I chose five nature photos from my spring nature walk to use on my Crazy Island Family March Week 3 Stripes and Patterns page. First, I chose the landscape rocks. I like the reds and the dark grays, and there are all sorts of shapes in there. That'll be an interesting part of my page. And, of course, I had to get the yellow ochres of the, the grasses and that gray-blue of the pond. And even though this is not the most beautiful picture, I do think there's some interesting stripes there. And, of course, I had to include the birdhouse and that beautiful, beautiful tree bark. That's really a fun picture. And, again, the dried weeds and the grasses. Hi there. Today I'm going to work in my Crazy Island Family Art Journal. We are on March week three already. I can hardly believe that three weeks in 2015 are here. <laughs> March week three, Crazy Island Family is nature patterns and stripes. For those of my subscribers who haven't seen my other pages, I like to do a real fast flip through. January week one was circles. January week two was animals. I did turtles. January week three was goddess. Who wants to be a goddess when we can be human? January week four was Australia. February week one was Love is in the Air. February week two was Inner Critic. I did a mirror. I love the quote. It is not who they say you are. It is who you say you are. And that was by T.D. Jakes. The next one was black and white. That was February week three. February week four was happy place. I still have to do this page. March week one was observations. I did a scissors in a glass jar. To acquire wisdom, one must observe. That's by Marilyn Vassavant, who is a genius, by the way. March week two 
was practice, and I was practicing faces, but especially the nose, the noses. So we are ready for March week three. You just saw the prior segment where I showed you a spring morning. <laughs> it was cold out there. We're, we're, spring is on its way, but it's still pretty cold in my part of the country, which is Wisconsin. And I showed a, a really fast nature walk I did just to see what kind of patterns were outside my door. And I really found a lot. I had to narrow it down to 15 photographs. <laughs> and out of those 15, I chose five that inspired me. I also found some photographs that I've been keeping around and I love the colors in these photographs. I'll put up pictures of these because I'm going to put these on my page too. Of these two birds. And I think they... Can you see them? Or do I have them? Let me check. I think they attract me because of the sepia colors golds and browns and tans i i tend to to lean toward the earth colors i do love my gold i love the browns and sepias and i have these watercolors radiant dr p h martin sepia radiant concentrated watercolor i want to get some more of these i really do like these dr p h martin's radiant concentrated watercolor golden brown so I'm thinking these two will work really well when I go with these photos. Now, on my page, I'm going to use the rocks, I believe, to do a border. So it's going to have like a rock frame. And then I'm going to do my quote. And so that leaves inspiration from the four... I almost wish I had a bigger art journal. <laughs> I, I may just pull a little from the other four photographs, which are, I have those weeds by the pond. That I might put in the background first and put in my pond. So that'll fall into the background. I have the quote up here. And then I have, I'm kind of planning this out verbally. I have those old weed stem stalks are all dried up and crunching on them on the on the ground there by the pond those might be nice just to kind of draw in some i they attracted me because of their stripes um the the dried weeds form stripes I, those might go down here someplace thinking about it and then, of course, I've got the birdhouse and the tree, and that's where I think my birds will come in. I think I might cut these out, and I probably will not use the entire stump of the photo. And I'm not going to use the photos that I took pictures of. I'm going to be drawing, so I'll be drawing the tree and the birdhouse, and I'll probably put the bird there. And then I have what I call the the weed heads from last year. I don't know whether these were old daisy flowers or some sort of a flower that grew by that little pond that I showed you in my photograph. So they'll probably go off over here and my quote will go up here. So that's what I'm thinking right now. In this video, it's not going to be what I call real time. This is because I'm going to include fast forward segments. So you can watch. I'm going to go into fast forward now. Mm -hmm. 